morning. My wife and I, Sarah Boyd, we had lived 20 years in Northern Virginia when in the summer of 2010, I took a map of the area of New York and drew a circle around it and we started looking for a new place to live. And when we got to Beacon, it was, it felt like home to me. It seemed immediately very familiar, very comfortable, and especially Main Street seemed to have this accessible human scale to it that appealed to me. And we immediately stopped searching, signed the lease, and now we have a, a home in, on uh, South Cedar near the library. The next year, I went to my high school reunion, went back to Brookline, Mass, where I grew up, and I immediately realized why it was that I found Main Street so appealing. <laughs> this is Harvard Street in Brookline, where I went through K through 12. Um, as you can see, very similar brownstones, stores on the front, uh, on the bottom level, apartments above. And there's also another feature that's very similar, if you notice it. Most of the space is given over to cars. People are basically restricted to the sidewalks and the crosswalks. And that's why I'm coming here today to suggest that we have to make a change. The simple needs of automobiles are more easily understood and satisfied than the complex needs of cities. And a growing number of planners and designers have come to believe that if they can only solve the problems of traffic, they will thereby have solved the major problems of cities. But cities have much more intricate economic and social concerns than automobile traffic. How can you know what to try with traffic until you know how the city itself works and what else it needs to do with its streets? You can't. Jane Jacobs, whoops. Jane Jacobs, the, life and death, the death and life of great American cities. So here in Beacon, we're left with an alternative. We have a legacy left behind from the urban renewal, the, the badly thought out urban rule, renewal that happened here in the 70s. And the streets still reflect that. My recommendation here today is that we switch to turning Main Street in Beacon into a shared street. Now the first point is the benefits. What are the benefits of shared streets? Well, the first is freer pedestrian access. People can come and go while still retaining access for local vehicles, bicycles, and deliveries. Reduced traffic speed is obviously going to make the Main Street experience safer, more social, much more congenial. We don't have to lose, in this case, they have the traffic, the, the parking in the old style but it can be done in more innovative ways, it can actually increase the parking. So one of the concerns that people often have is what about the parking? Things to keep in mind. Well, first of all, there's going to be an immediate pushback. A lot of people that I've talked to about this, even people that are actually in favor of it, will say, it's never going to happen, Stowe. Impossible. But I think we should keep in foremost in our minds certain considerations. One is that Main Street meets the traffic planning parameters very well. It is a good candidate, at least on most of its length, a good candidate to be a shared, shared street. Second, we have to consider the fact that it would be a very attractive alternative for Beacon. It would obviously draw more people to come to town, and it would also increase the value of an, probably one of our greatest assets, which is Main Street. And yes, we are going to have to raise new funds and allocate them, and that will require dedication, hard work, persistence at both the political and the cultural level. But I think we can do it. And then the final point, the, the real essential point here is that a shared Main Street will lead to more people who want to live, work, shop, and explore in Beacon. You can see from the slides, from the photos, that this is a worldwide phenomenon. There's shared streets everywhere. I just picked randomly almost <clears throat> some interesting shots. And I've been to Brighton, so at least in that case, I've seen those streets and see how they work. 
New York City, for example, has many shared streets, and it's a common, uh, it's a common place and, and, and something that they recommend in their planning. And they've done some great innovative things that are even more extensive, like the redevelopment of Times Square, which is really kind of phenomenal. So an answer for Jan Jacobs. Let's put people first and take back Main Street from the cars. So I came here today to ask for your support. It's going to take a lot of work. No one person can do this all by themselves. It could take years just to get this off the ground. But I'm willing to make that push. And so I want you to sign up to join me and join with others who are in favor of trying to make Beacon a, mo a more safe, livable, walkable community. Perhaps it's fitting that we're doing this, I'm making this proposition here in the centennial year of, New of uh, Beacon, looking back at the past 100 years. But it's time for us to do this and build a beacon that is configured for the next 100 years. Thanks very much.